Yes, children. So we completed the lesson, lesson 18, means of transport. We learned about uh, different means of land transport, uh, road transport, uh, railways. Then we learned about water transport, inland waterways. Then we le learned about air transport. Now it's our exercise time. Let us do the exercise of the lesson means of transport. Oh, our uh, first exercise is answer the following question. Exercise A, answer the following questions. The first question here is, question number one, name any two main advantages of road transport. So you have to write two advantages of road transport. What are the main advantages? of road transport yes the answer is the two advantages of road transport are a it provides fast and comfortable travel yes people are comfortable by road transport fast also b connects roads to towns and cities people can go to different towns and cities because roads are connected so uh, by road transport they can travel to, uh, to towns and cities and even to remote areas like mountains and deserts because roads are there up, uh, to the remote areas so we can travel yes these are the advantages of road transport now second second question name two advantages of rail and road transport so which are that what are the advantages of both road and rail transport the two advantages of rail and road transport are a rail transport uh, is a cheap and fast means of transport rail transport is the fastest means of transport at the same time cheap also then during the time of famine uh, floods and wars when there is the the time of crisis like famine shortage of food uh, flood uh, and war railways carry men and material to the places where they are needed so railway carry people and also material to the place where they are needed the two advantages of road transport are it provides fast and comfortable travel that we already uh, learned and connect roads to towns and cities and even to remote areas like mountains and deserts <coughs> yes so the first question name any two main advantages of road transport the two advantages of road transport are a it provides fast and comfortable <coughs> travel and b connects roads to towns and uh, cities and even to remote areas like mountains and deserts second name two advantages of rail and road transport uh, the two advantages of rail and road transport are a rail transport is a cheap and fast means of transport b during the time of famine floods and wars railways carry men and material to the places where they are needed the two advantages of road transport are it provides fast and comfortable travel and connect roads to towns and cities and even to remote areas like mountains and deserts okay children our next question is question number three what are the advantages of waterways so we have to write the advantages of waterways or water transport the advantages of answer the advantages of water transport are a it is a cheap way to transport bulky goods over long distances so it is the cheapest way to uh, transport the heavy goods from uh, one uh, place to another from any part of the world to another over long distances b carry passengers and goods from town to town along the banks in india so they carry passengers at the same time they carry goods also from one town to another along the river banks of india yes these are the advantages of waterways then fourth question name any two main advantages of air transport so what are the advantages of air transport so you know it is the fastest means of transport 
yes the two advantages of air transport are they are the fastest means of transport one b second one all major cities are connected to one another and to every part of the world through air transport yes all the major cities are connected to one another and also to every part of the world they are connected because of this air transport so these are the advantages of air transport first one uh, third question what are the advantages of waterways the advantages of water transport are a it is a cheap way to transport bulky goods b u l k y heavy goods over long distances b carry passengers and goods from town to town along the banks in india then fourth question name any two main advantages of air transport answer the two advantages of air transport are they are the fastest means of transport b all major cities are connected to one another and to every part of the world through air transport okay children coming to the last question our last question fifth question name any two non major ports so we have major ports as well as non major ports for india so the non major ports are kakinada in andhra pradesh k a k i n a d a kakinada in andhra pradesh comma tuticorin in tamil nadu T U T I C O R I O N Tutti Korean in Korean in Tamil Nadu and Vidinam in Kerala V I uh, Z H I N J A M. These are the non-major ports. So the non-major ports are Kakinada in Andhra Pradesh, comma uh, Tutti Korean in Tamil Nadu and Vidinam in Kerala. Okay. Yes, children. Our next exercise is exercise B. Fill up the following blanks using the clue kit. So there is a clue kit given children in your textbook. After the fill in the blanks, I have written above the fill in the blanks so that you can see uh, the words in the clue kit so clearly. So let us see which are the words in the clue kit. Using these words, you have to fill each blank. So the words in the clue kit are buses, cheap and fast, water, shipping. helicopters and aeroplanes so these are the words in the clue kit using these words you have to fill each blank so the first one dash are pressed into service in times of floods yes in times of floods famine uh, or uh, any natural calamity we these comes into service temporary service for a particular purpose pressed into service yes helicopters and aeroplanes this is the this answer helicopters and aeroplanes are pressed into service helicopters helicopters and aeroplanes helicopters and aeroplanes are pressed into service in times of floods second dash plays an important role in the transport sector of india's economy dash plays a very important role in the transport sector of india's economy the answer is shipping yes shipping plays a very important role to transport goods and all uh, in india's economy shipping s h i p p i n g then third dash transport may be slow as compared to road rail or air transport compared to road rail and air transport this transport is very slow which is that yes water water transport is very slow compared to road rail and air yes w a t e r water for railway provide dash means of transport railway provide cheap and fast railway provide cheap as well as fast means of transport s h c h e a p c h e a p cheap and f a s t fast dash are the most common mode of road transport in india yes most common mode of road transport in india is buses buses are the most common mode of road transport in india b u s e s buses 
So the first one dash are pressed into service in times of floods, helicopters and aeroplane. H E L I C O P T E R S helicopters and aeroplane A E R O P L A N E S. Second dash plays an important role in the transport sector of India's economy. Shipping. Shipping plays a very important role in the transport sector of India's economy. Third, water transport may be slow as compared to road, rail or air transport. Water. Fourth, railway provide cheap and fast. Cheap and fast means of transport. The last one. Dash are the most common mode of road transport in India. Buses are the most common mode of road transport in India. Okay. Yes children, our next exercise, exercise C, write yes or no for the following statements. Given a few statements, read the statements, check whether the statement uh, given is true or false. If the statement is true, if it is correct, you can write yes in the brackets. If the statement is false, if it is wrong, then write no in the brackets. Yes, the first one, road transport in India has a large and extensive transportation system. Is it true? Yes, road transport in India has a large and extensive transportation system. It is a correct statement. So you can write yes in the brackets. Yes, Y E S yes. Next, food, medicine, etc. can reach those places by air transport. Yes, by air transport we can reach food, medicine, etc. It is there, it is correct. So the given statement is correct, it is true. So you can write yes in the brackets, Y, yes, yes. Then next, third one, major port on the western coast is Kandla. Yes, we have um, ports, major port and non-major ports. Major ports are spread in eastern and western part of India. So yes, Kandla is in western coast. It is the true statement. Kandla, Mumbai, they are on the western coast. So major port on the western coast is Kandla. Yes, it is true, it is correct. So you can write yes here again. Y E S yes. Then next one. Fourth one, all the important towns and cities are connected by the railways. Is it true? Most of the important cities and the towns, they are connected by the railways. It is a true statement. It is correct. So you can again write S yes in the bracket. Y E S S. Last one, Kakinada is one of the major port. So we have major ports and non-major ports, but Kakinada is a non-major port, not a major port. So Kakinada is one of the major port that is actually wrong statement. So you have to write no here, N-O, no in the brackets. So the first one, road transport in India has a large and extensive transportation system. The statement is correct, so write yes. Second, food, medicine, etc. can reach those places by air transport. It is a correct statement, so write yes. Third, major port on the western coast is Kandla. Yes, it is a correct statement, so yes. Fourth, all the important towns and cities are connected by the railways. Again, a correct statement, so yes. Last one, Kakinada is one of the major port. It is a wrong statement, so no. Children, our next exercise, exercise D. Look at the following vehicles below. Circle each of the vehicles that are facing left. So you have to circle the vehicle that are facing left. Here pictures of some vehicles are given. Okay, so the first vehicle is car. So where the car is facing, the car front portion is facing to which side? It is, it is not facing left anyway. So we, you can't circle car. Now uh, the second vehicle means of transport given is helicopter. Yes. When you see helicopter you can see it is facing left. So you can circle that picture. Helicopter. Then uh, third is van. It is also facing the left direction. So you can circle van. Then um, again the next image is a car that is facing left to totally, completely towards left. So that also you can circle. Uh, coming to the next image you can see an aeroplane. It is not facing 
right another direction not left so you can't circle it next uh, there is a jeep you can see it's facing other direction right direction it is not facing the left then you can see a truck a heavy vehicle a lorry kind of carrying goods it is facing left so you can uh, circle the vehicle truck then the next vehicle is jcb you know what is jcb yes uh, people use this uh, jcb to for demolition purposes uh, to destroy the buildings uh, truck loading and loading uh, demolishing for this purpose we use this jcb vehicle uh, so for construction of roads and all we use so that is jcb so jcb that also facing left so you can uh, circle that vehicle uh, then next is uh, have you seen this uh, vehicle anywhere in construction purposes for construction constructing of buildings and all to mix the cement they use this uh, vehicle cement mixer it is uh, you can circle that because it is facing left then last one jet plane yes it is also facing the left so you can circle that image that picture so these are the vehicles that are facing left huh? Helicopter, van, car, truck, uh, JCB, cement mixer and jet plane. So you can circle these uh, pictures. Okay. Yes children. So next exercise is exercise E. Unscramble the following words. Some words are given. You have to unscramble it. And then match them with the right image. So image is given left and right side. You have to uh, match with the correct image also. So O B A T. What is the correct word of this unscramble word? Yes, it's boat actually. B O A T. Boat. Then R A M T. It's tram. T R A M. Tram. Tram is a vehicle, a passenger vehicle. It is carrying passengers. It runs on electricity and it, uh, it's a rail uh, it's laid on uh, you know it's a run on rail that is on the tramway means on public road it also called street car something like that but it uh, uh, runs on the uh, rails that uh, laid on a public road if there is tram vehicle uh, then isph it's ship s-h-i-p ship then I C Y C L E B. It is bicycle. B I C Y C L E bicycle. Then um, this is aeroplane. A E R O A E R O P L A N E aeroplane. Then H I T A is taxi. Then this is B A L L O O N balloon, balloon, and this is helicopter H E L I C O P T E R helicopter, helicopter. After unscrambling this, you have to match these words with the correct image given there. Yes, so boat, boat image you can see there, isn't it, children? Uh, boat image you can see on the right side there you have to match boat image then tram tram image uh, here on the left side actually it's given not tram but tram image is missing there okay tram image is this actually yes this is actually tram image then next is ship ship you can see on the left side you can see uh, ship image that you can match here left side then bicycle image also you can see on the left side there you have to match next aeroplane aeroplane image actually in textbook they have given aeroplane uh, image here on the left side yes then taxi taxi image is given on the right side there you can match then um, balloon actually it is a hot air balloon 
uh, so air transport we say people use this for recreation and for some fun relaxation they use hot air balloon uh, it travels in air so balloon you can match with hot air balloon on the right side then uh, helicopter helicopter is there on uh, left and right side both side you can see helicopter uh, but any one image you can match actually uh, one image should be tram there but by mistake it has happened like that so tram is the image you already seen and helicopter two images are there any one of the image you can match the helicopter okay children our next exercise exercise f fill in the missing vowels for each of the following words here some words are given some missing words with missing letters so that missing letters are vowels vowels are a e i o u vowels are a e i o u so these letters are missing here you have to fill up those letters missing vowels here images are given so the first one is what image you can see the children yes image of a yes it's a fire engine people call fire engine when there is fire uh, when any building catches fire they call immediately fire engine they come to the rushes to the sport and they put out the fire using water and all they pump water and they put out fire that's fire engine yes f i r e fire engine then e n g i n e that is fire engine yes so i e i e see i letters missing are vowels i and e are vowels fire engine f i r e e n g i n e fire engine next images of a car yes easy c a r car a is a vowel next image is of a image given there is yes it's scooter so the missing letters vowels are s c o o t e r o and e r vowels the last one uh, the fourth one here the first row last one image is of a train yes t r a i n train a and i r vowels now coming to the second row the first image is of a yes a plus sign you can see the it's an yes ambulance a first is a isn't it you have to write a here a m b u l a n c e that is ambulance a u e they are all vowels then next up next image is of a yes yacht yes y a c h t yacht a is a vowel the next image is of a van yes like a easy one v a n van a is a vowel the second row for last image is of a truck yes t r u c k truck u is a vowel yes so these are the uh, missing vowels of this uh, letter uh, words so you all we have already filled the vowels the first one is of a fire engine images of a fire engine spelling f i r e e n g i n e fire engine second image is of a car c a r then third image is of a scooter s c o o t e r scooter the uh, that's fourth image is of a train a i is missing the there are vowels t r a i n train then here second row first one image is of an ambulance missing letters are a u a e there are vowels ambulance a m b u l a n c e ambulance next image is of a yacht uh, y a c h t a was missing the a is a vowel the next image is of a van V A in van A was missing the A is a vowel T R U C K truck and last image is of a truck U was missing the U is a vowel okay yes children so coming to the next exercise exercise G write at least three transportation names in each words 
नीच बॉक्स सी हियर दे हैव गिवन हेडिंग रोड वाटर एयर रेलवे सो यू हैव टू राइट एनी थ्री वन टू थ्री एनी मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नेम यू हैव टू राइट अंडर ईच कॉलम सो रोड का रोड यू नो बस कार बस ट्रक यू कैन राइट एनी रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट नेम यू कैन राइट वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट एक्साम्पल्स यू कैन राइट शिप बोर्ड स्टीमर then air transport you can write aeroplane spacecraft rocket hmm? yes and railway we have only train isn't it yes so uh, you have to write three transportation names in each box box under road uh, water air and railway so under road you can write car bus truck water transport ship boat steamer air aeroplane spacecraft rocket railway train okay children next is the project work it's time to do the project work let us see what are the projects given in your textbook for you to do so first one on an outline map of india show all the important national highways so take an outline map there you have to show the important national highways of india national highways are uh, the roads that are constructed and maintained by the central government roads in india we learned about national highways state highways district roads village roads so national highways you have to show the important national highways in the outline map of india we have nh44 hmm, which is the uh, longest national highway is nh44 then uh, we have nh52 nh48 we have nh27 we have nh48 44 कन्नौज श्रीनगर टू कन्याकुमारी लॉन्गेस्ट नेशनल हाईवे then nh27 is from gujarat uh, to assam then we have nh48 from delhi to chennai then we have nh52 uh, from punjab to karnataka so we have national highways like this nh44 is the longest one so you have to mark the important national highways in the textbook page number 140 there is a image of uh, india map showing india national highway network map you can refer that then second collect the information about ports and airport so port you already learned we have uh, 12 major ports and uh, uh, 200 non major ports uh, ports of india it is spread out in eastern and western coast of india and the names also we learned and non major ports also are there yes then airport airport we have uh, in uh, uh, in uh, uh, indira gandhi international airport we have in new delhi then uh, chennai airport we have chennai international airport then kochi international airport we have then indira uh, rajiv gandhi international airport we have in hyderabad so these are the airports we have so um, you have to collect the information about these airports also then draw uh, third one draw different means of transport in all categories and also write the advantages and disadvantages so first you have to draw the uh, different means of transport road uh, water air then you draw any one means of transport among this one example you can draw then you have to write the advantages already you learned in the lesson itself the advantages of road rail and water transport disadvantages also you have to write road transport um, disadvantages uh, it's a uh, high pollution one then um, you know, traffic main problem is traffic congested it will be sometimes traffic on the roads isn't it yes so that you can write as a disadvantages of road transport then water transport disadvantage uh, advantage you already know and uh, disadvantages uh, it is slow means of transport isn't it yes the cheapest means of transport is an advantage we can carry uh, bulky goods and all but it's slow means of transport so it's a disadvantage of water transport then air transport yes we can reach within less time we can reach uh, to the another country or within the country itself uh, yes uh, but uh, the disadvantage is that it is very expensive and uh, another disadvantage is that weight limit is there we cannot carry bulky or heavy goods in uh, air uh, air transport or in aeroplane to from when we are going we have a weight limit there is a limit for which we have to carry so these are the disadvantages of air transport so you have to draw the different means of transport then you have to write the advantages and disadvantages of all the means of transport okay yes 
नेक्स्ट इज लाइफ स्किल्स वॉट लाइफ स्किल यू हैव लर्न हियर लाइफ स्किल्स In the earlier days, palanquins or palaki were popular means of transport for women of all social strata. Palanquins, you know, palanquins. Have you seen the palanquin uh, in the in some uh, movies, in some films? You can see the palanquin where the, uh, the women uh, they carry the people they carry women in the palanquin. Huh? It's a categorization of people into groups, social strata, you know, social, the categorization of the people into groups that based on wealth or uh, their uh, gender, uh, income like that. Uh, in olden days, you know, there was categorization. So uh, that is social strata means. So it was this palakim were popular means of women, um, transport of women actually, the uh, women or the queens uh, in the kingdom. Uh, in the palace they uh, you, this women they carry people they carry this uh, women in the palanquin uh? yes the decoration of palki referred to the status of the owner decoration it depends on the status of owner how wealthy how rich he is accordingly that is decorated palki so different types of palanquins are there by decoration we can understand the status of the owner how rich uh, the owner will be then the evolution of palanquins is rooted in the tradition of carrying the deities or ideals evolution is development how this uh, founded actually it, there was a tradition of carrying the deities or the statues of god or ideals they used to carry in this later during 15th century it was used for the transportation of common people then they, they have they used it for the transportation for common people as a normal palanquin they used to uh, um, transport common people also uh, but uh, the palace uh, those who are staying in the palace the king the queens uh, there uh, you can see the palanquin decorated with uh, you know you know um, with the uh, full of decoration beautifully they have decorated the palanquins for the women in the palace uh, then on the other hand men generally utilized horses as modes of transportation those days men use uh, transportation as horses they used to uh, ride on horses while, while, while when they used to go outside mm? they generally use horses as the modes of transportation but women they uh, uh, the people carry women in the palanquins and the palanquins decoration depends on the status of the owner so before in 15th century before and all we can see this palanquins palanquin we say okay that is also a mode of transportation yes so children we have completed the lesson and also the exercise part so uh, after reading the lesson uh, two three times then go through the exercise well learn the exercise learn the question answer fill in the blanks and all uh, and uh, be well prepared for the exams okay